Chris Pettit here with First 15 Live. Glad to have you on here. I am hanging out at, see if you can guess. Guess where I'm at. Glad to have you on here. Um, as soon as you jump on, please comment whether you're watching live or later. I ask you to do a couple things. Share right away. Just click share right now. Comment. Let me know you're there because uh, it's hard to tell sometimes who's watching who's not. So please comment just so I, I kind of connect with you there. And then um, if you haven't liked our page, go like our page. And then um, and then you can get notifications by after you like our page, click the following icon at the top of our page. Click the edit notifications and click to show me uh, every time this page goes live. Um, I'm going to post right now the uh, verse that we will be using and um, a worship video because our goal here at First 15 Live is for you to spend a little bit of time with God every day. Uh, man, I got a good one for you today, so please share so we can get some people on here. Um, that's the only way people know we are on. Uh, van full with you, Kevin. Uh, awesome. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Good morning. Marcel, good morning. Victoria, good morning. Good morning to the van with Kevin. I assume a van full of teenagers coming back from something awesome. Pam, good morning. Angie, good morning. Glenny, good morning. Katie, good morning. Margaret, good morning. And thanks for the share, Margaret, and the one other person who shared. If you haven't shared, go ahead and do that, and we're going to dive in. Um, this is in incredibly. Uh, Mitch, good morning. Glad to have you on here. Uh, hopefully, the, the, the shifts in your schedule isn't killing you right now. Man, I know that's tough. Um, all right. Um, if you got any prayer requests, James, please drop them in. Can you tell where I'm at now? <laughs> Anybody tell where I'm at? Um, thank you, Glennie, and, and the four others who shared. So um, let's dive into this. Um, so this is an incredibly, incredibly sad verse. Um, it's Second uh, Chronicles chapter 24, verse 2. Joash uh, became king when he was seven years old. Uh, in fact, Jehoiada the priest... Um, saved his life and so um, his he was the queen before him tried to murder all the heirs so that she could stay queen and uh, yes Cracker Barrel um, that is where I am and so um, anyway uh, and so Jehoiada spared his life and when he was seven years old made him king and they killed Athaliah uh, who was the queen before him and um, anyway and so Jehoiada was the priest and here's the verse Joash did what was pleasing in the Lord's sight I know some people are gonna get on to me for rocking so I need to quit Joash um, did what was pleasing in the Lord's sight throughout the lifetime of Jehoiada the priest. Now, that may not seem like a sad verse at first to you, but it's incredibly sad. Let me tell you why it's so sad. It's because um, the reality is, if you read the rest of that chapter, he, um, he walks away from God. In fact, he walks so far away from God, uh, Joash does, that Jehoiada, who saved his life, he ends up killing Jehoiada's son after Jehoiada dies because he went so far away from God. And uh, I titled this uh, that, that some people may, uh, good morning Elise, glad to have you on here. Leela, glad to have you on here. Yep, Cracker Barrel. Yeah, oh, y'all got it right. Good morning. Um, just a rock. And yeah, I need to stand up so I don't rock. Anyway, the um, so here's the reality. Many of us are um, are following God we think but we're actually following a man a woman a movement and uh, and that's where I want to challenge you because there's so many believers as a pastor man I, I can't tell you how many times I've seen it over and over and over and over again like somebody's on fire for God they love God they're passionate about God until something you know their pastor has a moral failure or gets a divorce or or whatever or their pastor leaves that church and and uh, you know and then they, they, they just they walk away from God. They don't know what to do. Um, they, you know, so many people, they, maybe that church falls apart or they stop going to that church for whatever reason. Somebody hurts their feelings and they end up walking away from God because they thought they were following Jesus. Like, that's what they, if you ask them, are you following Jesus? Oh, yeah, I'm following Jesus. But they were actually following a man, a woman, or a movement, a church or something, or just the excitement of all of that. And they weren't following Christ. And so you need to ask yourself sincerely, if it was just you, right? If it was just you, if it was, um, you know, up to you to keep your own salvation, like 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 everybody else walked away from God, the whole world walked away from God. You were the only Christian believer on the planet. Would you still believe? Would you still follow Christ? 
that's how, that's how um, you should view your relationship with God. That's what you should think about in your relationship with God. That's, that's what's so important because um, men are going to fail you, women are going to fail you, leaders are going to fail you, churches are going to fail you. You can't follow movements. You got to follow Christ. It's got to be about him because those things will come and go. God will bring you under other men, other women, uh, other churches. He'll bring you from season to season. And I'll tell you what, good morning, Sonny. Glad to have you on here. Enjoying your vacation. But I'll tell you what, if you are following a man, a woman, or a, a church, I promise you they will fail you at some point. And if that rocks your faith, it doesn't mean it won't hurt you. I mean, it's going to always hurt you. But if it rocks your faith, if you, if you begin to lose your faith or back away from, from following Christ because a man failed you, a woman failed you, a pastor failed you, a church failed you, can I tell you what? You're not really following Jesus at all. You're following a man, right, who happens to be following Jesus. And that's not God's plan for your life. He wants to be the Lord. He wants to be everything. He wants to be... Um, you know, we don't sing, I have decided to follow Pastor Chris. I have decided to follow Life Church. No. What do we do? I've decided to follow Jesus. And you need to evaluate your own heart because it's really easy to say, oh, he's not talking about me. He's talking about somebody else. But think about it. If your pastor were to walk away from God today, would you walk away too? If your church were to fall apart today, would your life fall apart too? Would your Christian walk fall apart too? Or would you be able to Pick yourself back up and say, you know what? That's all right. There's other churches. There's other pastors. In the end, I'm following Christ, and Christ will lead me. In fact, my relationship with God's going to go deeper. I'm going to push in more. I heard uh, Doug Fields once say, he was a youth pastor, and he said that his goal was to lead every teenager so that if they ever showed up into a city that didn't have a life-giving church, they, they would be fully prepared to start one themselves because that should be the strength level of every believer that I could walk into a situation and if there's nobody following Christ, I could start the church. I could be the leader, I could make it happen. And I wanna challenge you, are you there? Are you there? Let me pray for you. <laughs> Jason, I will not sing for you on Thursday morning Bible study. Uh, Leo, you're right, a lot of people will walk away and that's sad and that's what we need to work on. Thanks for the amens. Uh, you're right, at least God will never fail you. Um, Danielle, you're right. Uh, always follow Christ. Glenny, you're right, walking in faith. Um, and I'm walking in faith, Glenny, when I'm walking. So I know you may hate the walking, but I'm walking in faith, baby. Come on, somebody. Uh -uh. Um, listen, let me pray for you. Father, I pray for the, the world changers who are sick. Lord, I pray for Greg Prine that you just you heal him, Lord. Uh, Lord, I pray for my friend's family who lost their, their dad. Yeah, that you would just be with them today. I pray for um, the... Uh, um, I pray for uh, Miss B, Lord, and Miss Cindy, and, and uh, I pray for um, um, for Ramsey, God, that you would bring healing there. And Father, I pray for everybody watching this, and for all believers, Father, that you would help us. You would help us to to follow you, Lord, not to follow man, for our relationship with God to not be based on just the people around us, but to really have a deep conviction, a deep connection to you, God, so that when everything else falls apart, we actually dive deeper into you instead of walking away. In Jesus' name. Amen. Hey, spend some time with the Lord today. Uh, Terry, glad to have you on here. Um, develop that relationship with the Lord. So when, it's not, it's not if, it's when people fail you. It actually pushes you closer to God and not further away because you're not following man, you're following Christ. Come on, somebody. Hashtag follow Christ only. Come on. Follow Christ only. Lord, I pray for Stephen as well. Um, pray for absolute healing in his life. Come on. All right. Hey, go encourage somebody today. You are a world changer. Let God use you today. Um, I'm getting to hang out uh, with some pastor buddies here, and uh, I'm excited about what God's doing in Coleman County and in different pastors. And so, um, anyway, go encourage somebody. You are a world changer. If you haven't shared, please click the share button. If you haven't commented, whether you're watching live or later, please comment right now. Let us know you're on because um, we're family here. We want, we want you to be connected with what we're doing here. Um, our mission is to help every believer spend a little bit of time with God every day. So uh, enjoy the worship video we posted. I pinned it to the top. And um, be sure to spend some time with God this morning. Um, also, you can like our page, click the following button, hit edit notifications, and it'll give you the option to be notified every time we go live. We're 8.30 on the weekend, 6.30 uh, during the week. Love you guys, and I will see you tomorrow morning at 8.30.